सो हाई एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वन सेकेंड टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी करंट अफेयर्स वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर रेलिवेंट फॉर ऑल द गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर कमिंग हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप हेयर यू विल गेट द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो आस्क योर डाउट्स हेयर इसका लिंक यू विल फाइंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड and you can also follow me on instagram here also you can ask anything related to examinations so let's talk about the very first question which says consider the following statements with respect to the report titled 300 billion dollar sustainable electronics manufacturing and exports by the year 2026 released by the ministry of electronics and it and you have to identify the correct statement so guys remember this report is nothing but a vision document of the ministry of electronics and it with respect to the electronic sector of the country hamare desh ka jo electronic sector hai aane wale 5 saal mein uske kya projections honge uske liye ye ek vision document hai okay so let's talk about the news then ministry of electronics and it which is headed by mr ashwini vaishnav who is also the minister of railways along with india cellular and electronics association has released a 5 year road map and vision document for the electronic sector of the country and as the question says that the report is titled 300 billion dollar sustainable electronics manufacturing and exports by the year 2026 so guys from the title itself it is pretty much clear that the target of electronics manufacturing and export is 300 billion dollar and by which year by the year 2026 This report, remember, provides a year-wise breakup and production projections in the electronic sector of the country. This report, हमें बताता है कि हर साल हमें अपने electronic sector में production की क्या-क्या हमारी expectations हैं. And with the achievement of these production projections, India would achieve a 300 billion dollar production target from the current 75 billion dollar in the electronic sector. हमारा जो देश का electronic sector है, वो भी एक 75 billion dollar की market है. And with the implementation of all these production projections that the market will rise up to 300 billion dollars by the year 2026 all right now the report says that the domestic market is expected to increase to 180 billion dollars by the year 2026 while the exports are expected to increase to 120 billion dollars by the year 2026 and together they will make 300 billion dollar by the year 2026 and from this table you can have a look that in which uh, production segment what is the production projection so the maximum projection is in the mobile phone segment that is 126.9 billion dollars by the year 2026 and you don't have to remember this table just remember the maximum projection is in the mobile phone segment and that is how much 126.9 billion dollars so guys that's it about this news and now let's come back to the question according to the report The domestic market is expected to increase to 120 billion dollars. Is that so? No, the domestic market will increase to 180 billion dollars. Okay, so this statement is incorrect. The report outlines the target of 120 billion dollar worth exports by 2026. Absolutely correct. And the report has been released in association with India Cellular and Electronics Association (ICEA). So, yeah, we will go say yeah. So that means the correct answer will be what option B? <coughs> Only two and three. Now let's move ahead to question number two. Very important question: Which of the following institutions has been awarded the Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puraskar 2021 in the institutional category? So, as you all know, guys, uh, the Parakram Divas was observed on 23rd January, which was the 125th birth anniversary of the great Subhash Chandra Bose. So, on this occasion, this award was given to uh, to one of these institutions, which are mentioned in the options. So, let's talk about the news. So, remember. This award is given by first of all you have to remember this. This award is given by the Ministry of Home Affairs. Now, what is the meaning of Aapda Prabandhan? By the way, disaster management. Disaster management. So, as it is clear from the title of the award that this award is given for outstanding contribution in the disaster management. All right. And this is announced every year on the occasion of birthday of the great Subhash Chandra Bose. In case of individual, so remember the award is given to an individual. to an individual and an institute ek individual ko milta hai aur ek institute ko milta hai in case of individual the amount 
the the cash amount is rupees five lakh and a certificate and in the case of institution rupees fifteen lakh cash and a certificate is provided. Now talking about the winners, so in the institution category, it is Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management, which is in Gandhi Nagar district of Gujarat. And in the case of individual, it is Professor Vinod Sharma, who is currently the chairperson of Sikkim Disaster State Management Authority. ठीक है Sikkim Disaster State Management Authority के chairperson हैं और इनका काफी ज़्यादा contribution रहा है in establishment of National Institute of Disaster Management. Okay, and that's why uh, he has been awarded with this prize. Okay. So now let's come back to the question. <clears throat> you have to identify which institution has got this award. So this has been awarded to Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management located in Gandhi Nagar in Gujarat. So let's move ahead to question number three then with respect to the amended guidelines of submission on agricultural mechanization to make drone technology affordable for stakeholders. You have to identify the incorrect statement. So this is guys very very important question. It will definitely come into your exam. So, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, which is headed by Mr. Narendra Singh Tomar, has amended the guidelines of submission on agriculture mechanization. Now, why these guidelines have been amended? This is for making drone technology affordable to the stakeholders. जो stakeholders हैं in the area of agriculture, उनके लिए drone technology को affordable बनाने के लिए the guidelines have been amended. And remember. The financial assistance will be provided. The grants will be provided to various stakeholders, and these financial assistance and grants will be provided until 31st March 2023. So do remember this cut-off date also. This can also be asked in your exam. Now, if I talk about the details of grants, अब देखो जो details of grant है इसमें छः points हैं. इन छः points में से दो सबसे ज़्यादा important हैं, and the chances are very high कि इन दो में से ही question आएगा. The chances are very high that The question will be asked from these two points only. ठीक है. Number one is what? Grants of up to hundred percent of the cost of agricultural drones or rupees ten lakh, whichever is less. So percent of the cost of agricultural drones or rupees ten lakh, whichever is less, will be provided to the agricultural institutes for purchase of drones. ठीक है. Now what is the meaning of agricultural institutes here? So let's say for example, Krishi Vigyan Kendras, for example, ICAR Institutes. So all these agricultural institutes will be provided grants up to hundred percent of the cost of agricultural drones or rupees ten lakh, whichever is less for purchase of drones. All right, that's point number one. Number two, the grant of up to seventy five percent of the cost of agricultural drone would be provided to the farmer producer organization for what? For demonstration of drones on farmers' fields. अगर farmer producer organization drones की demonstration करता है farmers' field पे तो उसके लिए उनको cost of agricultural drone का 75 percent, that is 75 percent grant दिया जाएगा. Point number three, a contingency expenditure of rupees six thousand per hectare would be provided. Would be provided to whom? To those implementing agencies that hire drones for demonstration for from customer. Uh, custom hiring centers from startups and from drone manufacturers. Okay, <clears throat> so remember, जो ये छः हजार पर हेक्टेयर हैं, ये किसको मिलेंगे? उन implementing agencies को मिलेंगे that hire drones for demonstration. And from where they are hiring this? From any custom hiring center, from any startup, or from any drone manufacturer. Okay. Now point number four. Those implementing agencies that purchase drones for drone demonstration. They would be provided contingency expenditure of rupees three thousand per hectare. So please don't get confused. The implementing agencies which will hire the drones, they will get rupees six thousand per hectare. But the implementing agencies that will purchase the drones, they will get three thousand per hectare. Okay. Now, custom hiring centers, those custom hiring centers which are set up by cooperative society of farmers, FPOs, and rural entrepreneurs would get forty percent of basic cost of drone and its attachment. Or rupees four lakh, whichever is less. So basically, the custom hiring centers will get forty percent of the basic cost of drone and its attachment, or rupees four lakh, whichever is less. And finally, the point number six: agriculture graduates establishing custom hiring centers. If these custom hiring centers are established by agriculture graduates, so in that case, they will get a grant of rupees fifty percent of the basic cost of drone and attachment. Or up to rupees five lakh, whichever is less. Okay, so please don't get confused. Custom hiring center, if 
कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी और फार्मर और फार्मर्स एफपीओ और या फिर रूरल एंटरप्रेन्योर्स उसको सेटअप करते हैं सो दे विल गेट फोर्टी परसेंट और फोर लाख वाइल इफ इट इज सेटअप बाय एन एग्रीकल्चरल ग्रेजुएट देन दैट पर्टिकुलर ग्रेजुएट विल गेट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द बेसिक कॉस्ट और रुपीज फाइव लाख ओके सो दैट सेट अबाउट दिस न्यूज गाइज एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन यू हैव यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एग्रीकल्चर इंस्टीट्यूट विल गेट ग्रांड्स अपू हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर ड्रोन और टेन लैक विच एवर इज लेस एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट ग्रांड्स ऑफ अपू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर ड्रोन वुड बी प्रोवाइडेड टू एफ पी ओस ये भी बिल्कुल सही है द फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस इन ग्रांड्स वुड बी अवेलेबल अंटिल थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ये भी बिल्कुल सही है सो गाइज ये तीनों के तीनों स्टेटमेंट बिल्कुल सही है सो वन टू एंड थ्री नन इज इन करेक्ट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर and now let's talk about question number 4 which of the following organizations has recommended to include electric vehicles under the ambit of psl guidelines which is priority sector lending priority sector lending now what is this priority sector lending by the way i hope most of you know about this but agar aapko nahi pata hai then there is no problem priority sector lending guys basically what happens is that banks are mandated banks what banks do they provide loans ठीक है बैंक्स प्रोवाइड लोन्स नाउ एज फॉर दी गाइडलाइंस ऑफ आरबीआई एज फॉर दी प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग गाइडलाइंस ऑफ आरबीआई द बैंक्स आर मैंडेटेड द बैंक्स आर मैंडेटेड अंडर द पीएसएल गाइडलाइंस बाय आरबीआई टू प्रोवाइड लोन्स टू प्रोवाइड सर्टेन पोर्शन ऑफ देयर लोन्स टू द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर ऑफ द कंट्री एंड व्हाट आर दीस प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर बाय द वे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल एग्रीकल्चर इज अ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर फॉर एग्जांपल एमएसएमई फॉर एग्जांपल एजुकेशन हाउसिंग सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर so there is a list of priority sector you can uh, see that list on rbi website so all these priority sector are you know inki inko priority pe rakha jata hai by all the banks to provide their loans and if it is a commercial bank then 40% of their adjusted net bank credit they have to provide to the priority sector theek hai so this is a brief uh, uh, you know brief explanation of priority sector if you want to know into the details you can search priority sector lending बाय अनुजिंदल आपको बहुत अच्छी खासी वीडियो मिल जाएगी राइट सो लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देन लेट्स लेट्स रीड रीड इट अगेन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिकमेंडेड टू इंक्लूड इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स अंडर द एम्बिट ऑफ पीएसएल गाइडलाइंस ऑफ आरबीआई थ्रू इट्स रिपोर्ट टाइटल बैंकिंग ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इन इंडिया राइट सो नाउ नीति आयोग नीति आयोग अलॉन्ग विद रॉकी माउंटेन इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आर इंडिया हैज रिलीज दिस रिपोर्ट विच इज टाइटल एज बैंकिंग ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इन इंडिया and through this report the 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 think tank of the government of india niti aayog has recommended the inclusion of electric vehicles within the umbrella of rbi's priority sector lending theek hai ji jo rbi ka psl guideline hai uske under evs ko dalne ke liye bola hai and isse fayda ye hoga ki jo agriculture jo, sorry jo electric vehicle ke sector mein log kaam kar rahe hain they will get they will get loan easily theek hai unko loan jo aasani se milega aur जिससे कि बोस्ट मिल सकती है टू द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक व्हीकल मार्केट ऑफ द कंट्री एंड एज पर द रिपोर्ट बैंक एंड एनबीएफसी हैव द पोटेंशियल टू अचीव एन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल फाइनेंसिंग मार्केट साइज ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड करोड़ बाय टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड अज थ्री पॉइंट सेवन लाख करोड़ बाय दूजेंड एंड थर्टी ओके सो इसमें इतना ही पढ़ना है इससे ज्यादा डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट रिमेंबर द नीति आयोग अलॉन्ग विद इट्स अलॉन्ग विद रॉकी माउंटेन इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आर एम आई इंडिया दे हैव Uh, released a report banking on electric vehicles in india and in that report they have recommended to include the electronic vehicles under the ambit of rbi's psl guidelines okay so that's why the correct answer will be what option e niti aayog okay now let's talk about the question number 5 which is a very direct question we don't have to go into the details of this particular news name the portal launched by ministry of coal to share key performance indicators related to coal sector that's it डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन है कोई ज्यादा डीप में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है एक पोर्टल लॉन्च हुआ है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कोल ने किया है क्यों किया है टू शेयर की परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स रिलेटेड टू कोल सेक्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ द पोर्टल गाइस इज कोयला दर्पण ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे नेम दी एप दैट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर फॉर बेनिफिशियरीज ऑफ सीजीएसएस दिस इज एडेड बाई मिस्टर मनसुख मंडाविया एंड द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन कैन यू टेल मी हु इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कोल ऑफ इंडिया Please write down in the comments. So this app, you have to uh, tell the name of this app. CGS stands for Central Government Health Scheme. Central Government Health Scheme, and through this scheme, 
the health uh, benefit basically the medical benefits are provided to the uh, central government employees okay so if agar aap mein se koi central government employee hai to you must have a card of cghs where you are getting the medical benefits from the government of india and uh, the name of the app guys is my cgs option a will be the correct answer so guys that's it for the session today i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next session on friday till then keep watching anujindal.in and keep studying bye bye take care and god bless